The day is December 15, 2010, 2449 souls. Into Opportunity search for proof mission of the Martian ancient oceans. Opportunity had been traveling up to this moment. Investigation of rocks, craters, and traversing sand dunes and grasslands, and bedrock. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. The regions it had previously examined contained there were hints that these locations were routinely swamped with water, even falling absent proof that a consistent body of there was water all around, like an ocean. The hostile environment of Mars had also begun. With some on board, Opportunity is suffering because to failing motors, it was unable to stow away from its robotic arm no longer. Our tenacious victor had just arrived. Santa Maria Crater, where? However, the most intriguing possibility for scientists because the task was finally approaching, a large crater that was 22 kilometers wide and had once held clays the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter discovered it. The importance of clays is due to their hydration surface water was likely contaminated with minerals. To have accumulated there for long stretches of time. You're watching Alex McColgan, and I'm Alex. Astrum, and I will accompany you on your voyage and investigate what it observed and found close to the Endeavour Crater. Following three rather uneventful months chance arrived at Santa Maria Crater and moved toward the crater rim's nearest hill, called Cape York. It encountered a few little objects along the route. Some of the craters were rather young, with the impact's debris was all over the place. However, Opportunity did not linger for long. Opportunity finally arrived at Endeavour. I could make out some differences in the landscape. After years of merely navigating plains numerous dunes of sand. On the horizon, peaks and capes began to rise. Crater when opportunity got closer to it. Rim. Finally, on Sol 2709, opportunity reached Cape York, and in particular, a location known a point known as Spirit Point after Opportunity Sister Rover, who had reached her limit, its objective on the opposite side of the world just a few months earlier. Opportunity had already traveled more than 30 kilometers. 50 times farther than the starting location, this point intended mission range. Mission planners made the decision not to enter the as new areas of interest were discovered, crater around the crater's edge. There is surface level exposure of bedrock, which provided a chance to investigate the oldest rocks. On this journey, it had seen a lot thus far. Along these peaks and capes, it was also the rim where the clays or moist minerals are had been picked up by the MRO. Opportunity stands on Spirit Point. Provided a view of Endeavor Crater perspective on the size of this crater is. Opportunity started out by discovering phenomena not previously observed on Mars. You might recall from earlier episodes that the soil in the vicinity of the locations has so far been discovered had numerous round, smooth, and smooth rocks are known as blueberries. There were no blueberries to be found near Endeavor. Found. Instead, the rocks and soil appear much coarser, less rounded, and more acute. The mission's mission controllers were such a change from the original in this place landing page where they claimed this component to be delivered the equivalent of the mission's two landing pages for the cost of one. The first area of interest that Opportunity looked at was a substantial ejector rock known as Tisdale II. It was unlike any rock that had previously been studied. Atop Mars. It was volcanic in nature but also contained more bromine and zinc than previously observed. It was identified as a specific form of breccia, rock shards that have been fused together over time. This provided more proof that water existed. This ejecta was likely thrown by an impact that heated subterranean water was released and dumped. Rock with Zinc Opportunity is close to Tisdale too in terms of distance. Found possibly the most convincing evidence that water once existed on Mars. Can you identify it from this image? Pay special attention to the image's bottom, and an exposed thin white line will be visible in this ledge. The vein was examined closely and showed the alpha particle x-ray revealed it to be gypsum. 
The rover's arm spectrometer detecting the combination of the minerals calcium and sulfur creating calcium sulfur. The homestake deposit is the name given to this vein. This probably resulted from water evaporation calcium from volcanic rocks mixed with with sulfur and ultimately calcium was left behind. Sulfate entering a fissure in the earth that eventually become visible at the surface. Tisdale II was presumably thrown by an impact that had something else along these lines. If true, this indicates that water formerly existed. Poured from cracks in the Martian subsurface. Analysis of the information opportunity gathered afterwards demonstrated that not only was this probable gypsum, but that the water in this area was also lowered acidity compared to the past the planet's other regions, so it may have provided better living conditions. Martian winter was about to arrive, so fewer days and a sun that is lower in the sky. For an inflexible solar-powered rover, the inclination of its solar panels, but the optimum circumstance. However, since the mission, for the first time opportunity had the chance to start when winter season on a slope aimed at the sun, which implies that during this winter, it would be restricted to the Greeley neighborhood haven. This location was not just facing the sun, nevertheless, was rocky, indicating that opportunity had it could investigate a lot in these several months. The tracks can be seen in this 360 degree panorama. Opportunity, as it cautiously made its on the route to its winter abode. Opportunity's prolonged wait of a few months was indeed helpful in one place, as the Mossbauer radiation is used by the spectrometer on the rover's arm. To identify the composition from cobalt-57 of a specimen. Cobalt-57, however, has a short half-life. A period of nine months, which wasn't a for a three-month mission, a eh? Problem. Opportunity had been around for eight years, but investigating a rock's makeup now required weeks as opposed to the 30 minutes that it would have taken when the mission first started. When not looking at rocks, it could utilize the time to observe minute tremors in the movement of Mars to learn more about planet's interior. Several weeks of radio tracking are necessary. Movement of a spot on Mars's surface to determine alterations in the planet's spin axis, something that was previously impossible opportunity was constantly moving, therefore. The tremors they were searching for would suggest whether or not Mars' interior is still molten or not. Opportunity's delay also allowed it to be examined. The impact of wind on Mars's dunes from a ground view, even at a small scale using the little camera on the rover's arm, looking for minute modifications throughout the months, it remained still. After several months, winter was approaching. Back to the summer. Opportunity moved once more on Sol 2947 for the first occasion since establishing camp in Greeley Haven. Fortunately, everything that was working from previously appeared to be still in operation, and Opportunity departed towards the following location of interest. According to MRO data, clays were found and the mission team were committed to this area. To locate it. Around Seoul, an inviting outcrop was seen. 3057 and the camera with a microscopic view showed there was something about it that no one anticipated. Similar to the landing page for Opportunity, these blueberry rocks with a polished surface were spotted, but this time they were incredibly large portion of the rock. Additionally, they were smaller than Opportunity have seen previously, measuring just a few millimeters of smaller diameter, and not as iron-rich as the landing blueberries are there. Observed were some of the exposed blueberries. Had been worn away, exposing their internal structure. Structure these blueberries were described by researchers as softer on the inside and crunchier on the outside middle. Their levels of concentration vary. They differ in terms of structure. Their chemical makeup varies. The distribution of them varies. It was a fascinating mystery. Opportunity only had one more location to go. When it traveled around Cape York, this was the Whitewater Lake designated clay patch. The Earth and Mars were only on their journey there undergoing a phase known as solar conjunction, where Mars is hidden by the Sun, obstructing between mission controller communication to rover, and... Throughout the semester, this has occurred a few times. 
previously of the mission, but this time opportunity a small scare to mission controllers, like during the period of no contact, opportunities the onboard computer was reset to standby. Fortunately, communication was resumed, opportunity properly restarted, and it to Whitewater Lake after that. Esperance was found by opportunity there. The light rock in this picture's upper left image, which is roughly human-sized forearm. This was the treasure that scientists had been looking for. Searching for. Esperance was discovered to have a higher composition. Lower in calcium and higher in aluminum and silica more so than any other rock as iron and steel had been explored on Mars for more than nine years. Tests revealed that this rock contained the mineral clay content as a result of extensive water modification. Opportunity spent weeks making sure this was done. The measurements were accurate and encompassed everything we could finish it before the Martian winter arrived. Back again. They focused on a location called Salander. Point, the next hill's slope faces the sun. Southward another 1.5 kilometers. On Sol 3344, Opportunity departed Cape York, having five Martian years or nine Earth years were spent on Martian terrain. It had discovered the strongest proof available. Mars mission that previously there was neutral pH water atop Mars. What would the mission's next phase reveal? We'll have to store that for the next time, I guess. Learning science well doesn't have to be difficult. Be drab. When delivered properly, it can be both intriguing and instructive. My films can be an excellent resource for passive learning. However, if you're interested in gaining further insight, I advise trying Brilliant. Brilliant offers engaging online content that resolving science-related questions and problems making astronomy more engaging and practical. Additionally, learning actively means that what you're learning is more likely to keep with you. You. They explore some extremely fascinating topics. Astronomy that will undoubtedly be beneficial to you much more context for my videos. So, if you're interested in giving it a try, you can sign up right now for no cost by clicking the link the URL at brilliant.org slash astrum will also receive a 20% discount on their yearly premium subscription. For unrestricted use of all of Brilliant's interactive computer science, science, and math classes. Appreciate your interest. If you are just joining the channel, welcome. We have few insights about Opportunity's objective. Click here to get the complete playlist. Many thanks to my patrons and supporters on Patreon. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Find the links if you want to contribute as well. Within the summary, best wishes and see you later.